It's probably worth knowing as a bit of historical background, of course, Spartacus does have an important place in the political history of Hollywood in order to stop the influence of communism within their Hollywood pictures, the uh, studios all got together and they, of course, they had a blacklist that they agreed on that anybody that was suspected to have communist sympathies or was part of the Communist Party, they were blacklisted, so they were unemployable. They were also just a little paranoid. They were very paranoid at the time, and this affected everybody in the movie industry at the time, of course. So if you were a composer, even cinematographers, all these guys, if you were considered to have communist sympathies of any kind, you could have been put on this blacklist and you would have been unemployable by the entire Hollywood machine. Um, Now, why am I talking about this in terms of Spartacus? It's worth knowing Howard Fast, who, of course, wrote the novel that Spartacus is based on, he was on the blacklist and he was um, put in prison for having communist sympathies. And he actually, he wanted to get Spartacus published by a traditional publisher, but he couldn't. So he actually published Spartacus independently by printing it himself. But it's interesting to know that Spartacus, at the very beginning of its conception, even as a novel, was part of the Hollywood blacklist. Mm. He couldn't get a traditional publisher to actually take on the book So really from the very beginning, you know, Spartacus was almost a doomed property. And I think that feeds into Spartacus, the historical man himself. Yeah. There's always been a bit of glitz and glamour and scandal because at the end of the day, we are talking about a slave rebellion. And I think that's interesting. You know, the the film has such a tight history with breaking the Hollywood blacklist, you know, trying to get rid of this political discrimination within Hollywood. And the film that does it itself is about a slave who's at the bottom of the barrel, the underdog, taking on the establishment of the Roman Empire. 